Hi everybody, welcome back to Quarantine Cooking with Carolyn. It is pretty hot here today. It's in the 90s and that is pretty hot for Colorado. So I was thinking, hmm, salad might be a good option for tonight. Nice and cool to eat. So what I'm gonna show you today is a Thai style beef and pasta salad. And it's, this, this recipe has got some great flavors. You're gonna love it. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, I've already uh, cooked the pasta and this is just eight ounces of um, linguine noodles or um, angel hair, the thin ones. You want the really thin ones. And then I'm going to turn on my cast iron skillet onto sort of medium high to high. And I've sprayed it already with uh, cooking spray. I'm gonna add these noodles to the pan here, to the to my bowl, and I've already uh, cut up and washed and dried my salad greens. And this is just your basic, these are just your basic salad greens. I did some uh, romaine lettuce, you could use butter lettuce if you want, tomatoes in here, there's cabbage, there's um, sliced carrot, I want to pull some of that up so you can see it. Um, so there's all kinds of yumminess here, but nothing too difficult. All right, so far so good. You know how to cook pasta, you know how to make salad. That's easy, right? So let's start with the next step, and that is making this, the dressing. Now, in this bowl, I have one tablespoon of brown sugar. To that, I'm going to add three tablespoons each of soy sauce and lime juice. Now, you can absolutely use fresh lime juice, but I like to, leave, I like to keep this um, lime juice around uh, for the times like, oh, today, when I don't have fresh limes. And I'm, to that, I'm gonna add two teaspoons of that frozen ginger, put that over there, um, that I've talked about before. And so I wanted to show you that again. And this stuff is great to keep on hand too. Now, to this, I am going to add two teaspoons of fish sauce. And this, is, this you find in the Asian food aisle, and it's very common, and it's actually very inexpensive. And we're gonna add that, and don't let this put you off. You know, some people are fish sauce, yeah. You know, don't let this put you off. It, it, it enhances the flavor, but it isn't the entire flavor, okay? If, if you know what I'm, I'm getting at there. And then we're gonna add two teaspoons of canola oil. That. and a quarter of a teaspoon of sriracha sauce. And I'm not even gonna measure that, I'm just gonna guess. Well, of course it helps if I open it, right? There we go. That was probably a little more than a quarter, but who cares? I like spicy. But if you don't like spicy, you might wanna cut back or maybe even leave that out. So then we're gonna whisk that up, just like that, and you can see I don't know if you can see that, but that ginger has sort of absorbed in, which is fabulous, just, just what you want it to do. Then you're gonna take two tablespoons of this sauce and you're gonna pour it over your beef. Now in this bowl, I have about three quarters of a pound of beef sirloin strips and I've, I've sliced it like I were gonna make a stir fry, which is kind of what we're gonna do. So I'm just tossing that sauce in here, the sauce and the meat together, and then we're gonna go over to the skillet that I turned on a little while ago, and I can tell it's getting hot, and I'm gonna add the beef to the skillet, and you might have to do this in batches if your skillet isn't big enough. You don't wanna overcrowd the pan. And you just want to cook this for about two minutes. 
So here's the beef, it's all cooked. And I've set it aside just for a couple of minutes just to let it cool because when I first took it off, it was still kind of sizzling. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add that to our salad and pasta mixture here, just like that. Smells really good, guys. I may even go eat out on the deck tonight. Doesn't that sound good? Oops, don't miss that guy. There we go. And then we're gonna just add the rest of that dressing that we made. And I'm just gonna give it another little stir. And there you go. So there you go, guys. Give this a try. It's a nice dish for a hot night. Give this a try. I know you've got this.